When it comes to top draft picks, I think it could be easy for them to come in and feel like they need to run the show, command the offense, be that guy, especially for perimeter players. And I think that's what happened with Jalen Suggs. He goes number five to Orlando in 2021. And remember, Paolo wasn't there yet. And you look at Orlando's roster and they have a bunch of intriguing young guys like Fultz, Jonathan Isaac, Wendell Carter, Franz came in with Suggs, but there was no like, this is the guy, this is the face of our franchise. That position was sort of up for grabs. And if you're Suggs and you're drafted as high as you are, and you had some of those like on ball, running the offense, reps in college at Gonzaga and you were compared to guys like De'Aaron Fox and Kemba Walker coming out of college, it could be very easy for him to feel like, okay, this falls on me. I need to be that guy for the Magic offense. The only problem for Suggs is that he wasn't really built for that kind of role at the NBA level. He struggled mightily with efficiency, didn't shoot well from beyond the arc, turned the ball over a lot, fouled a lot. But overall, through his first few years, it was just very clear that he wasn't really that guy. And then obviously things in Orlando started to change because they drafted Paolo Bancaro number one and all of a sudden he becomes that guy. He becomes the face of the franchise. That position has been filled. And then Franz takes lead where now he's, he's sort of the number two guy. And so Paolo and Franz are like your core pillars, your foundation. So then I feel like definitely a lot of people looked at Suggs and just sort of thought like, okay, where does he where does he fit into all of this? What's his role on a team where he no longer has to try and be the main guy? And to his immense credit, Suggs has done an insanely amazing job at both ends of fitting into what Orlando's been doing this season. And it's a big reason why Orlando's gotten off to this hot start. Obviously it helps when you start shooting a career high 36% from three, makes life a lot easier for you and your teammates. But what's been most impressive from Suggs is that the offense has been less about, I'm going to take it upon myself to create for myself and more of, I'm going to figure out how to fit in around my teammates. I'm gonna pick my spots. I'm gonna let the offense come to me. So it's been a lot of getting out in transition where he's actually one of the best transition players in the NBA. It's a lot of let me set screens for some guys and then benefit from the chaos that creates. It's let Paolo and Franz be the engines to the offense and let me fill in the cracks around them as they materialize. And defensively, I don't know if this is like a hot take, but I'm getting a lot of Marcus Smart vibes from Jalen Suggs right now, where he's just gonna out hustle you and outwork you and bring that sort of grit and toughness a young impressionable team like the Magic could definitely use. It explains why he's top five in steals per game, why he's up there in loose balls recovered, deflections as well. The Magic were tied against Denver late in the fourth quarter and Suggs still wasn't afraid to get into it with Nikola Jokic and then use that skirmish to hype up the Magic crowd. You love to see a guy embrace that complimentary role at both ends, both A because it's not so glamorous and B because we've seen a lot of young guys struggle to accept the fact that they might not be the guy. So Suggs deserves all the credit in the world for recognizing his own shortcomings over his first two years, reading the terrain of what this Magic roster is becoming, as well as what they need, and adjusting his play accordingly. And the results have clearly spoken for themselves. The Magic are second in the East, they've won six straight, they have a top two defense, and so much of that is because of Suggs. And aside from the fact that his newfound contributions are contributing to winning, I also think it's helped change the outlook of Suggs' career. Whereas there was a time where it might have seemed like he was gonna get squeezed out of Orlando's future and and who knows where he'd go. Now he seems like an indispensable part. What do you think of Suggs? What do you think of the Orlando Magic? How far do you think they can go? I wanna hear from you. 